Now that is a sunrise to wake up to. You know we gotta time lapse some of this. Switching over to the GoPro. Oh, now that's dangerous. I did not realize there was a demo of Pokemon Omega Ruby. I haven't turned my 3DS on at all in a while, so I hadn't even checked. And this may actually be just enough to sort of scratch my itch about Pokemon until Sun and Moon release. Anyway, it's like 10.40 in the morning, and for whatever reason, I still have not showered yet, so I probably ought to go do that now. Alrighty, back again quite a little while later, and the game is finished downloading. I haven't actually loaded it up or anything, but it's just, it's here, it's ready. Let's see. This will actually be my first Pokemon game experience, so I thought that I would sort of record it and share it with you. Special demo. I've got the 3D turned off because I really just don't prefer that. And no, I don't have a, a proper 3DS that I can actually capture from. Sorry. I have no idea what's going on. Choose from these three Pokeballs. Uh, I guess this is selecting a starter. And it says choose a Pokemon. I don't know anything about any of them. Uh, let's see, we've got Grass type, Grovile. Fire type, Kumba skin, and water type, Mars Stomp. <laughs> I've got to go with Kumba skin. Fire type is cool. Well, there you go. I've selected my starter. And now begins a dangerous journey. And sorry, again, if this is out of focus, without having to flip up screen, it's really hard to make sure that I'm staying in focus and I don't want to keep autofocus continually going because it makes a lot of noise. Let's see, I've got the basic idea. It says he's sending out something I missed. Kumba skin. And apparently we're going to fight. I am familiar with all these things just from watching Pixelmon, and actually I played a little bit of Pixelmon on the PC, or on the Mac, I guess. So here are my attacks I can do. Flamethrower, Double Kick, Slash, and Bulk Up. Pooch Hyena, I don't know what that's vulnerable to, so I'm gonna try just to, it, it's actually suggesting that I do a fire attack, so Flamethrower. That did all of the damage, it fainted in one hit. Holy crap, all right. I have actually played this style of RPG before on other systems, so that's actually really familiar. It's not bad. And I kind of figured it was going to be like that, I mean, just from the other things I've seen. Mega evolving. Ooh. Yeah, so this is going to be dangerous, and I will probably end up buying Omega, Sapphire, Ruby, whatever. I don't know what it's called. I may end up buying it after all this is said and done, but I'm going to try the demo and just see how it works for me. So, continuing to dive in, dangerous times ahead. Wait, what? I just started the game, and... Like, I've gone through a couple of battles out in the wild, and he apparently just evolved into a Blaziken. Okay, this is entirely new to me. Cool. Yeah, I've just been kind of circling around this little thing, because you keep running into random rare things, rare encounter... Not rare, but random encounters like that. It's Black Hoth. Okay. So let's see if he got any new abilities. So we hit Fight. Same abilities. So, Double Kick, Bulk Up, Slash, and Flamethrower. Double Kick, he is, uh... Super effective. It is super effective. Oh wow. And he hits a lot harder now. Good to know. Anyway, I'm just sort of grinding away. It's fun so far, I will say that. And yes, I realize I'm a man in my 30s who's just playing Pokemon for the first time, but it's it's fun. It's kind of really fun. Well, I spent a little bit of time on it and I defeated the demo. Not that it's really challenging or anything, but just sort of a very fun escape, I gotta say it. And apparently after you finish the demo, you can continue playing the demo. Like, normally with a demo you finish it and then you play it again, or you finally just go and buy the game. With this one, they give you more Pokemon after you finish the demo, because the end of the first demo is just they you catch another one for the first time. You do mega evolutions and stuff like that, and it's very cool. But then after you've completed all of that, the, the professor or whoever it is that you're working with there is just like, by the way, I've given you some more Pokemon. You want to go on an adventure? Okay. I didn't do that yet. I haven't tried that yet. But still, it's, it's nice to know that that's an option. You know, I don't think I've actually ever shown my 3DS on here. I don't even know, like, codes or anything for it. I don't know any sort of unique identifiers for it. I don't even have that many games for it. But 
I bought the special Mario Luigi edition right after it released because this was the one that came with uh, Sleep, not Sleep, Mario and Luigi Dream Team. And I played a little bit of that. I also picked up this uh, Zelda Four Swords Anniversary Edition, and I think I picked up The Legend of Zelda the Link Between Worlds, and of course Duncan and I have two copies of Smash Brothers, and he absolutely loves that, but we haven't played it in a really long time. Still just sort of nice to step back into that world. And again, apologies if I'm out of focus or anything, but I'm definitely, definitely tempted now to pick up the, the Pokemon game, even though it's still forty dollars. I, I, I'm gonna have to see how far I can go in this demo and how much can be done with it because if it can just sort of keep me entertained for the next few weeks then when Pokemon Sun and Moon comes out I'll have that one. I can just play that from start to finish and not have to worry about coming back to older versions of the game. That may be the better idea. Anyway, just got off of an excellent phone call in between working on the demo stuff, sponsorship related stuff for the main channel. Gonna be doing a sponsored video for them very very soon. Really looking forward to that one. You guys all know it when you see it I'm sure but it's it's put it this way it's a video with a company that I've desperately wanted to work with for so long, it's gonna be awesome. And I've got just a little bit of time before it's time to get Duncan off the bus. Maybe I can go in there and shoot a video or 12. I also need to go outside and fly some quadcopters and do some RC trucks. I live a really hard life, I know guys, and I am very fortunate to be in the position that I'm in, so I'm not, I'm trying not to take it for granted. Well, that was super, super nice. My friend Nick reached out to me earlier today. He bought the Canon G7 recently. He bought a, a refurbished one from Canon's website, and he said, wait a minute, didn't you want to borrow this camera at some point? So he just stopped by to drop it off. I was in the middle of filming stuff, but I'd already filmed two or three videos, maybe two and a half. But still, he stopped by and he dropped off the Canon G7. Excuse me, G7X. This is the first generation one, not the second. So what I will probably do is I'll go ahead and just start playing with it tonight, do some sample clips and stuff like that, just test and stuff. But then I will go ahead and get it ready and use it tomorrow for tomorrow's daily video and probably title it something like using the Canon G7X as a daily vlogging camera because I tend to do that. So. Yeah, be on the lookout. There'll be some footage from this thing. Really robust, really nice build quality. And the fact that it has the flip up screen, super, super nice. But that one showed up, came off the bus. Welcome home. Did you have a good day? Good stuff. And he wants to watch some videos. Well, skipping on ahead, we're back. Duncan's watching Sunday again. We went out and just filled up Pokemon balls and, or Pokeballs, and uh, caught some useless things and whatnot. And then went and picked Ellis up. He is just snoozing. He just had a bottle, so he's he's pretty happy. And then there's a mommy. She's home from the gym and getting all buff and whatnot. I gotta start getting buff. Yes, you do. Yeah. That's what we're making today. Well, by we, I mean you. Is this it? The goat cheese crusted chicken? Yep. We're gonna have some crusty chicken. Do you enjoy the crusty chicken? Only if it's got cheese on it. Only if it's cheesy crusty, not like snot. Right. Okay. That would be nasty. Because that would be Ellis chicken. Yuck. But it has, apparently has taters and carrots. Massive tater. Hey, some little someone just woke up. It's apparently in a pretty good little mood. You having fun there, bubbly? Yeah. Just wanna play with the camera. And there is the final product. Crusty chicken. Is it any good? I don't know, the potatoes are good though. Okay. Good stuff and sneezing boy. Mm. Hey, Ella's gonna get her. <laughs> you can get mama. I was popping Christina's back for her, and <laughs> Ella said he wanted to get involved. I'm gonna crawl. I'm just gonna crawl up to you. Here I come. <laughs> oh, goodness. Heavy boy. <laughs> He's been doing that a lot lately, the nodding thing, like that. Like saying yes. Saying yes. Yes, here I come. Uh oh, here he comes. You crawling? Yep. He's scooching his legs. He says, here I come. Buddy. What are you doing? Once you get, get up you. here. I'm just gonna headbutt you. He loves to headbutt. Duncan loves to headbutt. <laughs> so got you. Bite her nose. <laughs> now this is the point where you throw up on her. No. Get her. Get her. You gotta get the mommy. <laughs> I get your face. Ow. I know. I know. Hey, can you give me a kiss? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the snots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> sorry for the quality. Oh, it's real cold. It was coming. <laughs> I'm saying sorry for the quality here. I'm on the iPhone because it's the camera I had near me. Drool on mama. 
He's drooling a lot today because he's teething more. Like the teeth are actually starting to, to really come through. So lots of drool. Uh-oh. Down he goes. Yay! Well, that one's giving up. And that one's about to give up. And Duncan just went upstairs. And I'm about to give up. My eyes are actually hurting. Um, so I think that's where we'll wrap things up for today. We're getting ready to put Ellis into bed. So thank you guys as always for watching. Sorry, it's very dark in here. We'll see you tomorrow from the Canon G7X. And we got some fun stuff planned.